As a GP specialising in dermatology, I prescribe and recommend retinoids daily for both acne patients and as a skin anti-aging or rejuvenating product. If you did nothing but use a retinoid like tretinoin and regular sunscreen, you'd be getting over 90% of all the benefits that all skincare products combined can offer. Forget the hype from big skincare companies promoting the next greatest thing. Tretinoin and sunscreen are by far your most important tool for skin health. By the end of this video, I'm confident that you'll be persuaded to give Tretinoin a try. Plus, I'll share my specific product recommendation at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar, a GP now specialising in, in dermatology. I've been using a retinoid for almost two years. I turned 50 last month and Tretinoin has helped me reverse some of the sun damage, pigmentation and prevent collagen loss in my skin. In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know about Tretinoin, from how it works to its benefits, potential side effects and tips for getting the best results. So whether you're considering starting Tretinoin or if you're already using it, this video will equip you with the knowledge you need to make the most out of this very powerful treatment. Tretinoin was first approved by the FDA in 1971 as a treatment for acne under the brand name Retin-A. It was discovered by Dr. Albert Kligman and his team who found that Tretinoin not only treated acne but also had anti-aging properties. So it's been around for slightly longer than me. Tretinoin is a topical retinoid. Now retinoids are an umbrella term for compounds derived from or related to vitamin A and are among the most well-researched and effective treatments available for various skin concerns. Retinoids include forms such as retinols, retinols and retinoic acids. Retinols are more commonly known because they're milder and are available in over-the-counter products, making them widely accessible in most beauty brands. In contrast, retinoic acids like tretinoin are usually stronger and often require a prescription in most countries. A study I'm linking below shows that while retinols aren't quite as potent as retinoids, they still make similar changes in skin histology, gene expression and protein expression comparable to prescription strength retinoic acid or tretinoin. Retinoids are proven to be effective in reducing wrinkles. When retinoids bind to specific receptors in the skin cells, they they stimulate the production of collagen and elastin fibres, which are crucial for maintaining plump, firm skin. As we age, the loss of these fibres leads to sagging and wrinkle formation. Now, while many products claim to be anti-wrinkle, retinoids stand out because they have a solid scientific backing. In one study, patients with sun-damaged skin applied topical retinoids, while another group used a placebo cream without any retinoids. Skin biopsies before and after the study showed an 80% increase in collagen formation with tretinoin compared to a 14% decrease with the placebo cream. This provides clear evidence-based proof of both the damaging effects the sun has on collagen and the anti-wrinkle effects of retinoids. Now let's discuss pigmentation. Hyperpigmentation or dark patches can arise from various causes such as inflammation, UV damage or a skin condition called melasma. These dark patches result from clusters of melanin granules, that's the pigment in our skin. Retinoids help by dispersing these pigment clusters leading to the gradual fading out of the dark spots over time. Additionally, retinoids promote cell turnover, providing continuous exfoliation. This means you can achieve smoother, more even toned skin without relying on harsh physical scrubs, which can sometimes do more harm than good. One of the most common groups of patients I prescribe or recommend retinoid products to are those with acne. Sebum, which is the oil produced by our skin's glands, can lead to blackheads, whiteheads and acne breakouts when it's produced in excess or is too thick. Retinoids help by reducing sebum production, making them highly effective in fighting acne. And although adapalene is often recommended as the first choice for acne in the UK, tretinoin is also very effective. Both are retinoids. Retinoids also prevent clogged pores, reduce inflammation and speed up the healing of active breakouts. And research shows that Tretinoin reduces acne lesions and improves skin appearance, making it a cornerstone in acne management. Regarding the anti-skin cancer effect, cancer cells 
fail to differentiate properly. Now, this means that the cells don't develop into their specialized forms as they should. Normally, cells go through a process called differentiation, where they mature, acquire specific functions like becoming a skin cell or becoming a muscle cell or a nerve cell or whatever. When cells fail to differentiate properly, they remain in an immature state, often continuing to divide uncontrollably. These are like confused cells that don't know what type of cell they are supposed to be. And this is a key characteristic of cancer, where cells lose their ability to perform their intended functions and instead grow rapidly, forming tumors or skin cancers in this case. Retinoids promote proper cell differentiation and can induce cell death in early skin cancer cells. So to sum it up, there's an ingredient out there that not only reduces wrinkles, helps with dark spots, prevents and treats acne, and rejuvenates the skin, but also treats and prevents skin cancer. Well then why is everyone not using it? So what is the catch? Well, the catch might be that not everyone can tolerate retinoids. The most common side effect includes redness, peeling, dryness, and irritation, especially when starting treatment or increasing the dose. These effects occur as the skin adjusts to the increased cell turnover. These side effects are known as retinoid dermatitis, or online you may have been seen it called the purge. Another important downside is that you should not use retinoids if you're pregnant. Although there's only a tiny amount of absorption compared to, say, taking oral retinoids like isotretinoin for acne, it's still not recommended during pregnancy. Also, it's important to know that the benefits in acne and other treatments can take six to eight weeks to appear, and for anti-aging and pigmentation, it may take even longer. So you need to push through the initial side effects and redness to see the benefits. If you're enjoying this content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. So in order to mitigate these side effects, there are a few things that you can do. You may have heard the mantra, start low and go slow. If you're new to tretinoin, start with a low concentration. Tretinoin creams are available in various strengths. Now, I advise my patients to apply it every other night for the first couple of weeks to allow their skin to adjust. Some people with very sensitive skin can try it only on their skin for two to three hours at a time before washing it out and then gradually increasing the duration. It's important to use it at night because some retinoid formations can be deactivated by sunlight. And since retinoids like tretinoin can make your skin more sensitive to the sun, it's crucial to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen with at least an SPF of 30 every morning, even on cloudy days. Another way to offset retinoid dermatitis or the purge is to mix it with a moisturizer. And while there's some debate online about whether this affects the retinoid's effectiveness, scientific studies show that combining a retinoid with a moisturizer doesn't diminish its effect and can help reduce side effects like the dryness and irritation. Now you can do it in a few different ways. You could apply your moisturizer first and let it soak in for a few minutes, then put your retinoid, or you could do it the other way around, or you could just mix the retinoid and the moisturizer together in your hand and apply it. Be sure to cover your entire face with a thin layer. Avoiding sensitive areas like around the eyes and in around the nose can also be very sensitive. I found that this reduces the redness that I sometimes get from tretinoin. However, if the redness and peeling become severe, reduce the frequency of application to maybe a few times a week or take a short break altogether before restarting and building back up again. Retinoids are more potent and effective than retinols and usually require a prescription. Thankfully, online services make this easier. You could also see your own doctor for a prescription. If you have acne, they are likely to give you a combination product with a retinoid and either benzyl peroxide or a topical antibiotic pre-mixed. But if you ask your GP for a retinoid to prevent signs of aging, they might look at you with a vacant expression as this is not something that will have ever been discussed during all those years at medical school. Personally, I get my retinoid from Dermatica. They have a subscription service that you can sign up for monthly. You can cancel it any time if you didn't like it. You can select the service you want from anti-aging to acne. And I recommend doing this on your phone as it's the easiest way to send the photos that they require for your bespoke prescription. They can add other ingredients to the tretinoin based on your history and your desired outcomes. And even better, you can get 10% off using the code DRFIMBAR at checkout.
Remember, you can try this for a month or two and if you're not happy, you can cancel any time. You can visit Dermatica.co.uk in the UK and Dermatica.com for the USA. As you've learned, tretinoin cream has multiple skin benefits, but perhaps there's one product with an even bigger impact on your skin? Sunscreen. In this video, you'll understand why sunscreen is vital to keeping your skin young. Prevention is the first step in skincare, but there's been a backlash online from influencers and celebrities who are revolting against sunscreen. Does sunscreen cause or prevent cancer? Find out in the next video.